Hi guys, Johnny Good for Real Home Studio. Today I'm doing a product review of FiFine Technologies K670 USB recording microphone. Okay, so aside from a nice white, stylish, solid feeling box with the Fi-Fi mic, you also get a really handy uh, boom mic clip, you can see there, um, which will just, you know, cradle the, the mic in any, in any mic stand. And you also get a really, really nice, super sturdy, um, desk weighted desktop stand, so this is nice and heavy, so it's not going to get knocked easy on a, on a desktop. And of course, there we are, we get the microphone, of course. Um, now, the mic looks really stylish, I think. And um, this mic, I believe, was $42.99 on Amazon at the moment. Um, so, well under £50, pounds, you're getting quite a nice looking mic. It's got this really nice, um, sort of matte, sort of buffed out metal um, look and feel about it, which I really like. Nice, solid, shiny pot switch on the top, which feels nice and solid. Um, and it doesn't feel overly USB -y and disappointing and computery. Actually, from someone who loves microphones and the aesthetics of mics, um, it feels like a nice quality microphone, um, which is really pleasing, both to look at and also to touch. It's got a nice weight about it. So it's got a volume control on the front. And on the back, it has um, a headphone line out, which is super handy, I guess, if you're a blogger or somebody who's not super into audio, you can just connect this thing up, headphones in the back, and you're away, so it can't be any easier for you, no um, extra peripheral stuff required. Um, talking about aesthetics, what also is really, really pleasing is, let me just unclip this from here, when you hook, the mic up to the USB, you get, I don't know if you can get that across because it's daylight, you get a beautiful blue light that comes up to let you know it's on. Um, and I used to have an art microphone years and years ago, which did the same thing, and I used to love it, especially night recording, and I, I'm a bit of a sucker for blue lights, so I like a blue light on a mic. So um, let me just um, unplug that again from here. Um, let you just let me just show you it on the mount too, and then we'll get to doing a bit of an audio test. That's going to be like mounted really nicely for if you're, you know, I'm guessing doing like game reviews and blogging that kind of thing, um, or making YouTube videos and that kind of stuff. It's going to sit there and look really nice and elegant on your desk as well. For me, it's like a ten out of ten for how it looks and feels and sits on the desk. I just think it's a pretty looking thing, which I know for a microphone, you're like. What it sounds like is really the, the main thing, but f for how it looks and feels, it's kind of important. You're going to look at this thing every day, so it's kind of nice to have something in your space that looks and feels nice. So 10 out of 10 for look and feel. Let's go and check out what it sounds like. Okay, so let's give the Fifine K670 a bit of an audio check. Now, a lot of people are going to be using this kind of USB mic for blogging and game reviews and youtube -y stuff. Um, you know, as well as musicians and you know, for uh, voiceover artists, that kind of thing. So let's give it a bit of spoken word. Well, you've already heard a little bit. Um, I'm gonna, for my spoken word, read a random page from Legends of Rock Guitar. Let's go for page 46. At the end of 1968, Stephen Stills formed a new group with ex-Bird David Crosby and Graham Nash from the Hollies, calling themselves simply Crosby, Stills and Nash. Their self-titled first album gained immediate acclaim for beautiful original composition by all three members. There we are, that's a little bit of uh, rock guitar history for you. Um, and I'm in a small space, but I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a play with an instrument as well, give it a little bit of a music test as well, so here's a little bit of skiffle. A singing mirror road bill, a lonely railroad bill He never works and he never will I'm gonna ride a railroad bill
There we are, so there's a little sound test for the mic. So, Fifine's K670 USB desktop microphone. It's a beautiful looking thing. It looks very elegant on your desktop. I love the kind of buff down metal. I like the solid weight and feel and this nice heavy desktop stand. The volume pot feels really nice and well manufactured. And the uh, the headphone aux out is a really nice touch. Uh, if you're getting into blogging or reviewing online, um, or even for things like Skype conference calls, your day-to-day -day audio jobs, this is gonna be a great choice at this price point. Uh, for anyone that's maybe a bit more semi-pro, looking to be um, getting into um, voiceovers, or maybe you're a musician and looking into home recording, it's a good starting point. What I would say is if you've got more of a developed ear or you've worked a little bit more with audio, you're gonna start to notice those typical hyped kind of high ends and a bit of a lack of depth to the mic overall which you will get from a better microphone spending more money where you're looking at 100 pounds plus but overall for the money you're getting a, a lot of microphone for 42.99 so if you're getting into audio this you're looking maybe your first um, decent mic that you're buying for a home studio this is a really good choice to get started five finds k670 I'm Johnny Gove for Real Home Studio. Have yourselves a great day.